viewers and welcome to another episode of Design for More. My name is Margaret Thomas and I am going to be your host for today. But before I get into what I want to briefly drop with you, please, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any of the notifications that will be coming your way. Thank you for doing that. Today, I'm going to quickly just drop the forms of capital that you need to know. A lot of times when you talk to people about um, the actualization of their goals, the actualization of their visions, all they come up with is, I do not have the money to do that. I do not have the money to go to school. I do not have the money to start that business. I do not have the money to do this. I do not have the money to do that. But I've come today to let us understand that um, you don't only need money to start up a business. You do not only need money to carry out, to, to, to actualize the goals and visions that you have pinned down somewhere. There's a lot more that is needed. And I'm going to briefly just run through them and then give you back your time. My anchor scripture for today is from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2, where the woman told the prophet that she has nothing save a pot of oil. Now for her, that was the capital that she needed to move herself from where she was to the place where she was supposed to be. All right. And at the end of this episode, I am sure you will be able to discover the capital that you have. It may not be cash. It may be something else. Okay. So thank you for tuning in. And I promise to give you back your time. Um, I promise to make this very brief and give you back your time. So number one form of capital we are going to be looking at is the natural capital. This has to do with natural resources. Number two form of capital is the external economic capital. And this talks about the impact that an organization will have on the financial and non-financial um, capital of other entities. Okay. Number three form of capital that I'm going to drop with you is the internal economic capital. Now, this is where you... Um, you talk about having the cash, you know, that is needed to start up that business or to, to carry out that vision or whatever, you know. But it doesn't just involve um, the financial capital. It also involves non-financial, which could also be the value of your brand. Number four is social and relationship capital. Here you build a team you work with, you know, a group of individuals and and you network with them and they bring, they share with you their intellectual capital. So you see, capital is not just about money, you know, there's also intellectual capital. And then finally, but not the least for today, is the human capital. The human capital includes your skill, or your skills, your attitude, knowledge, the experience, uh, the motivation of the individuals. Now, all of these are very important. And these are all capitals that should be considered every time you want to step out and start a business or you want to step out and, you know, um, actualize the dreams or the, the visions that you have pinned down. Okay, so you don't just, how much, okay, let me ask a question. How much knowledge do you have about um, the vision that you have written down, the goals that you have penned down, okay? So it's, 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 it's a part of the capital that is required. You might need to read books, all right? You might need to take trainings, okay? So everything doesn't just start and end with having um, cash to start a business, how much credibility do you have? Do you have integrity? Do you have experience, you know, to be able to handle that business? You just might need to go back and serve under someone that is already doing that business so you can learn, okay? So you can acquire the knowledge that is required for you to be able to run 
the business. So you don't eventually have the money and it goes down the drain. So you see, you don't have to allow cash to limit you. If you have written down the things you want to do, you know, you can start taking steps. I'm just going to give you a short illustration before I give you back your time. Now, for someone that wants to go into a marketing, um, someone that wants to go into a sales business, you can start by marketing other people's products. There's a book written by Robert Koyosaki, Robert Koyosaki, which is OPM, Other People's Money. So you can actually do business with other people's money. So you have the goods. I have the marketing skills and all I need to do is because I have built credibility over time with you, all I need to do is, and I have integrity, all I need to do is come to you and pick up the goods, market the goods, sell them, get the money, you know, have my markup on top and, you know, pay you back what your money is. So you see, I could be making money without actually having money in my bank account to be the one to go and you know purchase the goods all right so there are various ways you can actually start a business without having money you need to invest in these other forms of capital take that training today read that book acquire the knowledge you need get the information you need and then set the ball rolling now before i leave i have an exercise for us today and the exercise is how much knowledge do i need to start up that business so that business that you have i need you to go back pick a, a, a piece of paper and a pen or pick up your vision notebook you know and then just write for this particular business what is the skill that is required what is the capital that is required and from what we have talked about today write it you know come up with a list of capital that is required and start taking the necessary steps thank you very much for your time and from me it is bye bye for today until i come your way again thank you